Hello, this is Leonardo, and in this video I'm going to show you a few of the new features uh, available in Trumor version 2. So I'm just going to run a sequence here, and we have the basic uh, kick sound. So the first thing uh, compared to version 1 is that now we have control on the on the bend time so I'm just gonna make it more obvious here okay so next thing that we have here is the now we have a sub oscillator I'm just gonna pitch it a little bit higher So you may hear that there is a, like a more boomy sound. Next feature is it's uh, this changes uh, the wave that is used. In this case, is it's, it's like a it's like a sine wave, and this is gonna add a few harmonics and turn it something more like a triangle wave. Here we start hearing the harmonics. The next control is, is the shaper, which is a, it's two kinds of distortion. So here we have saturation. And on the other direction we have a, a different distortion. feature that we, we, that we can see here is that now I'm going to return this to original value I'm going to increase the value of the, of the click now we have separate gates and outputs for each of the sections so when you have one module of Trumor you can uh, use it as two complete separate uh, modules so for example if I'm, I'm just going to uh, change like hit hit the gate of the oscillator so this is only the the noise section and this is the mix output but we have as well uh, a combined output okay this is individual output only for the noise and this is output only for the noise section so you can use it as a full unit, controlled by a master gate, and using the, the mix output or completely separate. So I'm, I'm going to show you the noise section. First we have the, the tone control, which is the same as, as in Trumor version 1. The next part is I have added uh, some of the features available in Rescom, so we can start like changing the the characteristics of, of the noise, turn it into something more metallic. And we can change the pitch of it. The next part is it's a filter. Now we have a, a multi-mode filter. So this is the low pass, band pass, and high pass, and with resonance control. And the last part, uh, as you can see here, is that the envelope now, now it has a new mode which is the loop mode 
when I show you how it, how this works. Uh, just to make it more clear, I'm going to take the envelope output here. So what we are seeing here is that uh, the attack controls how many uh, the hole controls how many pulses are triggered. So the larger the hole, the more pulses are triggered. And attack controls how long the pulses are. And release just controls the final release of the of the envelope. So this is the noise section. One more new thing here is the, the modulations modulation section we have here. So it's it's improved uh, compared to true mode version one. I'm just gonna add one random signal from here. And in order to assign a modulation, you have to click on the slot that you are that you want to control, and then you need to move uh, one of the of the controls in order to assign it. So I have moved the cut, and now it's assigned to the noise cut. And yeah, so each each modulator can be assigned to to any of, of the controls here. For example, let me assign this other two. That's the value of the rescom. Or let's assign it to the whole time. One of the things that I really like to do, with, and it's my favorite way of discovering new sounds, is we use just randomize. We will start getting like, very crazy sounds, and some of them are very interesting as well. One thing that I do as well with, with Trumor 2 is, is to use it as a synthesizer. So I'm just gonna lower the volume here. And if you assign this to the pitch. So that's Trumor 2 and it's going to be available for download very soon. Thank you.